This is Tommy Watt for TTT Boxing and IFL TV. I'm joined here by Trent El Terrible. Trent Broadhurst, how you doing, mate? Thanks, mate. It's big news coming out about yourself in the last few weeks. Got a uh, got yourself a world title fight against Dimitri Duval. Yep. How uh, how are you feeling about that? Very excited, man. Um, yeah, big big opportunity for myself. Um, up against, you know, he's a great fighter, but you know, as we've seen with Jeff Horner and Pacquiao, you know, on the day anything's possible, you know. So, um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Anything is possible, and he uh, no stranger to uh, to Australian fans, and uh, he's fought someone that is also on your box rec resume and in, uh, in Robert Berridge. So, yep. have you uh, have you looked back at that fight at all? I mean, how much have you seen of Bivol? Uh, I've seen a fair bit. Yeah, um, fight where he won the title against Valera, um, and especially his last two fights. So, um, haven't really watched much of the Berridge fight. I don't take much much from that. You know, that was many many years ago for myself, mm. and it's a completely different fighter to to what I am this day. But um, yeah, look, Berish, you know, he took that fight on short notice yeah. with Bivol as well. You know what I mean? It's, we got off for the same fight. Right. Um, I think it was about two weeks' notice, to be honest. So yeah, so yeah, you'd expect so, someone to win pretty comfortably yeah, with, with that. Exactly. Yeah. But um, yeah. he's a very very rangy, very yeah. powerful kind of fight. Not too dissimilar to yourself. Do yeah. you? Do you see this being very much a, a tactical matchup, or do you uh, do you feel that one of you is going to throw a bit of caution to the wind? And uh, yeah, how do you see the fight playing out tactically? Well, I think the first the first four to six rounds are going to be a bit a bit tactical, a bit of a chess match. You know, and I'm very very comfortable in the in the chess match sort of situation with any fight in the world. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think he's got one punch knockout power. You know what I mean? But again, ten ounce gloves. Anyone anyway, can land any sort of shot. You know what I mean? But no, he's got very good distance control. Good rangey long punches. So, and uh, so this fight is a, a matchroom card promoted by Eddie Hearn over in, yeah. in the UK. So, um, over in Monaco though, um, very different to the RSLs in Townsville yeah. and, uh, and Brisbane. So, um, yeah, what were your thoughts on fighting somewhere like uh, like Monte Carlo? Ah, it's unbelievable. You know what I mean? It's um, yeah, I think it's the uh, second second show Eddie Hearn's done over there. I think. So. Yeah, I think Martin Murray was and yeah, Ortiz were yeah. on the first one. Ortiz. I think or, or maybe Martin Murray four triple G, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right, right, that's yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. place I'm living in, I mean, beautiful, beautiful place, but... And a chance to yeah. showcase your skills exactly. in front of the uh, the ever-growing UK market yeah. as well. Yeah, as well. Um, undercard's packed, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so... To be sitting at the top of that, something special. Yeah, it's yeah, it's absolutely fantastic card. And say if you uh, put on a good performance, and there's every chance you can see yourself fighting over in the UK, where there seems to be no end of money in the sport at the moment. Yeah, is, is that something that's in the back of your mind? Yeah, obviously this fight, man, it's 100% concentration on this fight. You know what I mean? Winning this fight, um, kind of just show up just to go to the rounds, got to go out and, and put everything on the line for this fight. You know what I mean? And opportunity might not come again. You know, these these opportunities don't come every day, so. Um, but yeah, the light heavyweights in England as well, you know, there's just five, six, seven good world-class light heavies there, so I can definitely see myself fight some of those guys in the future as well. That's it, put a statement out. And uh, so we just witnessed Adam Copeland pick up his second win yeah. of his uh, of his career. I understand he's training with yourself now. Yeah. Um, you, what are your thoughts on Adam's performance, first of all? Ah, uh, I'll probably be a bit harsh on him tonight. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't the best tonight. Um, I know he's heard his hand sparring with Rowan a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Um, so he hasn't been doing doing a hell of a lot of training um, for this fight. But look, man, it's, it's up to him how far he wants to take take it. You know what I mean? He's all the talent in the world. Still young. He's only 22, 23 years old. I think. That's so, it, yeah. Um, you know, he'll learn as he's going. He'll learn how much how much hard work it takes to to sort of get in good shape and, and to be able to put on good performances and that sort of stuff. So, but yeah, it's it's all learning for him at the moment. So. Yeah, so and there was an awkward customer and an yeah. interesting chap in there. Uh, Funny thing, Chris used to train with us when he was um, an amateur. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, probably probably eight, ten years ago now. So has he always been that interesting? Or? Yeah, bit of a weird. Kid, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, nice dude. I was yeah. uh, particularly taken aback by his Pokemon chucks. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen anyone wear those in the ring before. Um, anyone's worth to try and find out on YouTube yeah. is definitely worth a look yeah. just for that alone. That's right. But um, look, we'll let you get back. Enjoy the rest of your camp. Hopefully, we'll catch up with you before that fight. Um, yeah. Um, but until then, so wish you all the best and uh, fingers crossed you uh, bring home that world title, mate. Appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers, Trim. Sponsors Joshua versus Takam on Sky Sports Box Office.